सत्व न चेदात तरीदम निजम भवे विज्ञान अज्ञान विधाप मार्जनम गुण प्रकाश है नुमीयते भवान प्रकाशते ये ना वा गुण ओ लॉर्ड कॉज ऑफ ऑल कॉजेस इफ योर ट्रांसेंडेंटल बॉडी वे आर नॉट बियॉन्ड द मोड्स ऑफ मेटेरियल नेचर वन कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मैटर and transcendence only by your presence can one understand the transcendental nature of your lordship who are the controller of material nature your transcendental nature is very difficult to understand unless one is influenced by the presence of your transcendental form for part it is said trigunya visya veda निस्त्रगुण्यो भवार्जुन अनलेस वन इज सिचुएटेड इन ट्रांसेंडेंस वन कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रांसेंडेंटल नेचर ऑफ द लॉर्ड एज ए स्टेटेड इन श्रीमद भागवतम अथापि ते देवा प्रधाम बुजा द्वया प्रसाद निशांग्रिता एवा ही जनाति तत्व भगवान महिमा नो चान्यो एक चिरम बी चिरम ओनली बाय द मर्सी ऑफ सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड कैन वन अंडरस्टैंड हिम those who are in the modes of material nature although i'm speculating for thousands of years cannot understand him the lord has innumerable forms anamadi murtu chukla niyame natisthan anamadi murti chukla niyame natisthan lord has innumerable forms and unless these forms such as lord ram chandra the shivadev krishna and balram were transcendental how could they be worshiped by devotees since time immemorial means bhaktya maam abhi jananti yavan yasya chasmi tattvatah devotees who awaken their transcendental nature in the presence of lord and who follow the rules and regulation of devotional service can understand lord krishna lord ramchandra and other incarnations who are not of this material world but who come from the spiritual world for the benefit of people in general if one does not take to this process one imagines or manufactures some form of god according to material qualities and can never awaken 
a real understanding of the supreme personality of godhead the words bhaktya mam abhijananti yavan yascha smitattata this words signify that unless one worships the lord according to the regulative devotional principles one cannot awaken the transcendental nature deity worship even in the absence of the supreme personality of godhead awakens the transcendental nature of the devotee who thus becomes increasingly attached to the lord's lotus feet the appearance of krishna is the answer to all imaginative iconography of the supreme personality of godhead everyone imagines the form of the supreme personality of godhead according to his mode of material nature in the brahma samhita it is said the lord is the oldest person therefore a section of religionists imagine that god must be very old and therefore they depict a form of the lord like a very old man but in the same brahma samhita that is contradicted although he is the oldest of all living entities he has his eternal form as a fresh youth the exact words used in this connection in the shrimad bhagavatam अरे विजान अज्ञान मार्जनम विजान मीन्स ट्रांसेंडेंटल नॉलेज विज्ञान द वर्ड इज विज्ञान मीन्स ट्रांसेंडेंटल नॉलेज ऑफ सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी vigyana is also experienced knowledge transcendental knowledge has to be accepted by the descending process of disciplic succession as brahma presents the knowledge of krishna in the brahma samhita brahma samhita is vigyana as realized by brahma's transcendental experience and in that way he presented the form and the past times of krishna in the transcendental abode ज्ञान भी द मीन्स दैट विच कैन मैच 
all kinds of speculations in ignorance people are imagining the form of the lord sometimes he has no form and sometimes he has form according to their different imaginations but the presentation of krishna in the brahm samhita <coughs> is vigyana scientific experienced knowledge given by lord brahma and accepted by lord chaitanya there is no doubt about it sri krishna's form sri krishna's flute krishna's color everything is reality here it is said that this vigyanam is always defeating all kinds of speculative knowledge therefore the demi gods prayed without your appearing as krishna as you are neither gyan vidha the science of speculative knowledge nor vigyanam could be realized ajana bhidapa marjanam by your appearance the speculative knowledge of ignorance will be vanquished and the real experienced knowledge of authorities like lord brahma will be established men influenced by the three modes of material nature men influenced by the three modes of material nature imagine their own god according to the modes of material nature in this way god is presented in various ways but your appearance will establish what the real form of god is the highest blunder committed by the impersonalist is to think that when the incarnation of god comes he accepts a form of matter in the mode of goodness actually the form of krishna or narayana is transcendental to any material idea even the greatest impersonalist shankaracharya has admitted narayana paro vyakta the material creation is caused by the avyakta the impersonal manifestation of matter or the non phenomenal total reservoir of matter and krishna is transcendental to that material conception this is expressed 
in the Srimad Bhagavatam as Suddha Sattva or transcendental. The Lord doesn't belong to the material mode of goodness. The Lord does not belong to the material mode of goodness. Or he is above the position of material goodness. He belongs to the transcendental eternal status of bliss and knowledge. Dear Lord, the demigods prayed. When you appear in your different incarnation, you take different names and forms according to different situations. Lord Krishna is your name because you are all attractive. You are called Shyam Sundara because of your transcendental beauty. Shyama means blackish. Yet they say that you are more beautiful than thousands of cupids. Sundarapakoti Kamaniya. Although you appear in a collar which is compared to that of a blackish cloud, you are the transcendental absolute. And therefore, your beauty is many, many times more attractive than the delicate body of Cupid. Sometimes you are called Giridhari because you lifted the hill known as Govardhana. You are sometimes called Nanda Nandana or Vasudeva or Deviki Nandana because you appear as the son of Maharaj Nanda or Devki or Vasudeva. Impersonalists think that your many names or forms are according to a particular type of work and quality because they accept you from the position of a material observer. One time Kesa Baba saying that the name, thousands of names are there, but these all names given by devotee, not that Krishna kept himself. All name, whatever. Kanaya is the name given by Mother Yashoda. Kanaya, Kana, Lala, she is calling like this. She is devoted and she is calling. So all name given by devotees. So here it is not compatible that someone can give in them as per Kesha Baba said to me. Our dear Lord, the way of understanding is not to study your absolute nature. The way of understanding is not to study your absolute nature, form and activities by mental speculation. One must engage himself in devotional service 
then one can understand your absolute nature and your transcendental form name and quality actually only a person who has a little taste for the service of your lotus feet can understand your transcendental nature form and quality others may go on speculating for millions of years but it is not possible for them to understand it, even a single part of your actual position in other words the supreme personality of godhead krishna cannot be understood by the non devotees because there is a curtain of yoga maya which covers krishna's actual features as confirmed in the bhagavad gita naam prakash sarvasya the lord says i am not exposed to anyone and everyone when krishna come he was actually present on the battlefield of kurukshetra and everyone saw him but not everyone could understand that he was the supreme personality of god as still everyone who died in his presence attained complete liberation from material bondage and was transferred to the spiritual world still everyone who died in his presence attained complete liberation from material bondage and was transferred to the spiritual world because foolish mood has do not awaken their spiritual nature they do not understand krishna and rama abhi janati va mooda marshvim tanum asritam even big academic scholars not considering the endeavors of the acharyas who have recommended devotional service in many elaborate commentaries and notes think that krishna is fictitious this is due to a lack of transcendental knowledge and failure to awaken krishna consciousness one should have the common sense to ask why if krishna or rama were fictitious stalwart scholars like sridhar swami rupa goswami sanatan goswami veer raghava vijay dhaja vallabha acharya and many other recognized acharyas would have spent so much time to write about krishna in notes and commentaries on shrimad bhagavatam text 
न नाम रूपे गुरुम जन्म कर्म भी निरूपितव्य तब तस्य साक्षण मनोवचो भ्या मनो मे अवर्तमनो देव क्रियायाम प्रति यंत्रा भी ही ओ लॉर्ड योर ट्रांसेंडेंटल नेम एंड फॉर्म आर नॉट एजर्टेंड बाय दोज हू मेरली स्पेक्युलेट ऑन द पाथ ऑफ इमेजिनेशन योर नेम फॉर्म एंड एट्रीब्यूट्स कैन बी एसरटेंड ओनली थ्रू डिवोशनल सर्विस Purport, as stated in the Padma Purana, Atah Sri Krishna Namadi Na Bhavet Griham Indriya Chevano Mukhe Hi Jivado Sham Eva Spurte Ata. One cannot understand the transcendental nature of the name, form. quality and past time of sri krishna to vans masterically contaminated senses sorry sri krishna through was materially contaminated senses only when one becomes spiritually saturated by transcendental service to the lord are the transcendental name form quality and past times of the lords revealed to him since krishna and his transcendental name form and activities are all of a transcendental nature ordinary persons or those who are only slightly advanced cannot understand them even big scholars who are non devotees think that krishna is fictitious yet all those so called scholars and commentators do not believe that krishna was factually a historical person whose presence on the battlefield of kurukshetra is recorded in the history of mahabharata they feel compelled to write commentaries on a bhagavad gita and other historical records sevar mukhe hi jehvado swam eva spurte ada krishna transcendental name form attributes and activities can be revealed only when one engage in his service in full consciousness in full consciousness in full consciousness this confirms krishna's own words in bhagavad gita bhaktya maam abhijananti bhaktya maam abhijanati yavan yas chasmi tattuta 
तो माम तत्व तो ज्ञानवा विशते तद अनंतरम वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इज ओनली बाय डिवोशनल सर्विस एंड वेन वन इज इन फुल कॉन्सियसनेस ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड by such devotion he can enter into the kingdom of god only by seven mukho by engaging oneself in the lord's service one can realize the name form and qualities of the supreme personality of god it o lord the demigod says the impersonalists who are non devotees cannot understand that your name is identical with your form since the lord is absolute there is no difference between his name and his actual form in the material world there is a difference between form and name the mango fruit is different from the name of the mango the name mango and the fruit the taste of this fruit is totally different from the name mango taste didn't come <laughs> in the material world there is a difference between form and name the mango fruit is different from the name of the mango one cannot taste the mango fruit simply by chanting mango 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 <laughs> but the devotee who knows that there is no difference between the name and the form of the lord's chants hare krishna hare krishna कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे एंड रियलाइज दैट ही इज ऑलवेज इन कृष्णा कंपनी फॉर पर्सन हु आर नॉट वेरी एडवांस्ड इन एब्सोल्यूट नॉलेज ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड कृष्णा एग्जिबिट्स his transcendental pastimes they can simply think of the pastime of the lord and get the full benefit since there is no difference between the transcendental name and form of the lord there is no difference between the transcendental pastimes and the form of the lord for those who are less intelligent like women laborers or okay the great sage vyasdeva wrote mahabharata in the mahabharata krishna is present in his different activities
Mahabharata is history. And simply by studying, hearing, and memorizing the transcendental activities of Krishna, the less intelligent can also gradually rise to the standard of pure devotees. Pure devotees who are always absorbed in the thought of the transcendental lotus feet of Sri Krishna and who are always engaged in devotional service in full Krishna consciousness are never to be considered to be in the material world. Sri Rupa Goswami has explained that those who are always engaged in Krishna consciousness by body, mind and activities are to be considered liberated even within this body. This is also confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Those who are engaged in the devotional service of the Lord have already transcended the material position. Mm -hmm. Krishna appears in order to give a chance to both the devotees and the non-devotees for realization of the ultimate goal of life. The devotees set the direct chain to see him and worship him. Those who are not on that platform get the chance to become acquainted with his activities and thus become elevated to the same position. The Brahma Samhita says, Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochanena Santa Sadeva Hirdesu Vilokayanti Yam Shama Sundara Machinti Guna Surupam Govindam Adipurusam Tamam Bayami. Although Krishna's transcendental form is presented as black. Devotees who are in love with the Supreme Personality of Godhead appreciate the Lord as Shyam Sundara having a very beautiful blackish form. The Lord's form is so beautiful that the Brahma Samhita also states Venum kwanantam arvinda dolayata kasangam. Venum kwanantam arvinda dolayata aksham. Barahavatam sam asitam buddha sundarangam. Amdar pakoti kaminya vishesha sobham. Govindam madhipurisam tamham bhajami. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, who plays on his transcendental flute. His eyes are like lotus flowers. He is decorated with peacock plumes and his bodily color resembles the color of a fresh black cloud, although his bodily features are more beautiful than millions of cupids. But this beauty of the Supreme Lords can be seen 
by devotees who are in love with him. Devotees whose eyes are anointed with the love of Godhead. Premanjana Chirita Bhakti Milochanena. The Lord is known as Giridhari or Girivardhari because Krishna, for the sake of his devotees, lifted Govardhana hill. The devotees appreciate the Lord's inconceivable strength, but non devotees. In spite of directly perceiving the Lord unconceivable strength and power, regards the Lord's activities and fictitious. This is the difference between a devotee and non devotee. Non devotees cannot give any nomenclature for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yet the Lord is known as Shama Sundara and Giridhari. Similarly, the Lord is known as Devaki Nandana and Yashoda Nandana <coughs> because he accepted the role of son for Mother Devaki and Mother Yashoda. And he is known as Gopala because he enjoyed the sport of maintaining the cows and calves. Therefore, although he has no mundane name, he is as addressed by devotees as Deviki Nandana, Yashoda Nandana, Gopala and Sham Sundaras. These are all transcendental names that only devotees can appreciate and non-devotees cannot. The history of Krishna, the person has been openly seen by everyone. Yet, only those who are in love with the Supreme Personality of Godhead can appreciate this history. Whereas, non-devotees who have not developed their loving qualities think that the activities, form and attributes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead are fictitious. Therefore, This verse explains na nama rupe gune janma karma vir nirupiti bhe tava tasya shakshina. In this connection, Srila Viswanatha Sakravarti Thakura has given the example that persons suffering from jaundice cannot taste the sweetness of sugar candy. Although everyone knows that sugar candy is sweet, similarly, because of the material disease, none devotees cannot understand the transcendental name, form, attributes, and activities of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Although they actually see the Lord's activities, either through authority or through history, the Puranas are old, authentic histories. 
but non devotees cannot understand them especially Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the essence of Vedic knowledge. non devotees cannot understand even the preliminary study of transcendental knowledge, Bhagavad Gita. They simply speculate and present commentaries with absurd distortions. In conclusion, unless one elevates himself to the transcendental platform by practicing Bhakti Yoga, one cannot understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead or His name, form, attributes or activities. But if by chance, by the association of devotees, one can actually understand the Lord's and His features, one immediately becomes a liberated person. As the Lord says in Bhagavatam, in Bhagavad Gita, Janma Karma Chame Divyam Evam Ya Vetti Tattvata Tektva Deham Punar Janma Naiti Maam Iti so, so Arjuna. One who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities doesn't, my appearance and activities doesn't upon leaving the body take his birth again in this material world, but attains my eternal abode, O Arjuna. Sri Rupa Goswami has therefore said that by inspection and love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead, devotees can express their mind to the Devotees can express their mind to Him with their words. Others, however, cannot do this as confirmed in Bhagavad Gita. Bhaktiya maam abhijanati yavan yes chasmi Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Oh, Ramani Ji, I think we have some minutes are left. If somebody wants to say something, you can say I can also get a chance to understand something. Andakaji. <laughs> well, yeah. I was reading this book a long, long time ago. Yeah. And uh, now I understand why. <laughs> Now I understand why. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, Radha is attainable in due course of time. So there is a way to attain Radha, to attain Swarupa. From the beginning, from this, like Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada said, and every one of innumerable souls already has eternal relationship with the Lord. Yeah. So it seems like a part of revelation. After some time, maybe 
when we when we finally uh, when our Swarupa is finally revealed to us, <coughs> then we can how to say go more. We just our heart that feels that that feels very happy to be one pointed. Yeah. Our one point is we are helpers of maid servant. Actually, for Vaishnava, there is no any other second point. Yeah. Which second point can we? No, it's not contra there is no contradiction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if we are in this tradition, on this path. In this parampara. This is this is very clear. But for us, there is no chance to deviate ourselves. Because we don't have anything else. If we want to quit and go somewhere, for what we will try? And what we will get. It's an arrangement he made already for us. All everything favorable. And then it's just favorable. <coughs> we have to just break this bondage of this laziness, only one thing is there. Oh. This is our Shatru. Ah, enemy. Yeah. The biggest Shatru is this that make us to sit laziness. Mm. Oh, samskara is there. Previous Samskara's power is there. But uh, with our Icha, eagerness and desire, when he sees, then he gives the extra power also, though he has given already. But sometimes you see that coming this and not going out, this is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. Kesha Baba said that the Shreshth Karma, highest topmost karma is this. Hmm. By doing this you achieve everything. By doing this you becomes, the thing comes to you. Bhagavad Gita, Rasamad Bhagavatam, Purana, Shastras, Veda <laughs> comes to you. <laughs> but this fixing, huh. maybe quick, or the favorite call, Ah. Or you say that that's electric white welding ah. Ah. <laughs> with this. I can leave everything, but this is not possible. <laughs> <laughs> My one hand is free. <laughs> My tongue is not free. My one hand is free. This disease should come. This disease is very rare. I want this disease. This condition. Yeah, this this Parkinson, a particular Parkinson I want. <laughs> Before this, it should be here inside. Others are doing it. <laughs> Why I cannot? Right, not fixing. <laughs> this practice 24 7 is very necessary. Radha Mohan Baba was eating with her left hand. Wow. <laughs> Breaking the left hand eating rules because highest, topmost, 
It's okay with you what he says. <laughs> it's not them. And this happened because of this. And he and Virat Baba sitting together. Nada Mohan Das Baba's body is doing like. Nada Mohan Das Baba's body is sitting. When they are sitting together, when he's talking with Virat Baba, Nada Mohan Das Baba's eyes become from small to big. Wow. Like this. And body is doing like this. <laughs> Thousand voltage current. Allah mm. with God looking to the devotee sitting near and the one plus powerful, powerful uh. thousand, thousand volt together <laughs> automatic the crank pass and then <laughs> this happens. Right. So this it's a yeah. This is very important. Without this, this I also see that bhajan is bhajan. Mm. Bhajan is bhajan. Bhajan is bhajan and the only bhajan mm. is the only thing. I'm so glad that you witnessed this. Uh -huh. you saw this. Huh? I'm very glad that you saw this and that you, uh, that Radha inspired you to share this with us. It's so yeah, I, I, also saw, I saw in this video that how he's doing. Right. One video is there. Ah. <coughs> Maybe some big bhandara is going in the Sant colony. And he was present there. And that time. Comparatively, if you will see the material things that if you want to achieve something, there is no shortcut. The same in the spiritual also. You have to do. Conditions are there, you have to do the main condition. In material, for material things you have to do. In a spiritual, for a spiritual, you have to do. Well, last time we went to this Moni Baba. Moni Baba? Moni Baba? Moni Baba's temple. Ah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Moni Baba is a very famous doctor. His aim is always become number one in material world. And after he met Keshava Baba, brother said, he also wants to become number one in spiritual world. Then he became it. I remember. Same. Yeah. That's yeah. just the direction. With a small little, you will get that much, then you no need to cry. Little you are doing yeah, and expecting you lot, lot. <laughs> not possible. <laughs> then you cry. Uh -huh. They're only watching, you know. What are you doing? They're only watching what are you doing for my Krishna. <laughs> She's not watching that what are you doing for me. He is watching that what are you doing for my Krishna? Chanting his name very precisely, very anything. Radharani is not doing that, what are doing for me? Radharani, what they are doing for my Krishna, whom I love a lot. I gave a chance to come here, okay, everything is positive. And what are you doing I know? I'm not doing that, not possible.
जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे